this is the interior of the new Audi R8 so this is a nice place to be in it's nice comfortable steering wheel but they keep upgrading the interior ev with every model they keep making it sportier and sportier and it's nice but I think they've gone a little too much what I mean by that is well the interior is nice it's sporty but there's really a lot that could have been there it's not it's a lot of it is missing there's a lot of empty space here and uh, yeah you have this really large LCD screen but you don't have a, a computer system here you know at least it uh, in place of all these knobs and buttons it, a nice touch screen would have been better so I think this is the place where you have a little bit of storage but still you could have fit a nice touch screen here now this is a nice gear stick and you have a little knob for the multimedia and uh, from that you can change your the songs plus uh, you also have other features like this knob here so basically this knob works the onboard computer plus you have some shortcut switches here you have some shortcut buttons here for navigation uh, and they make it very easy when you're driving you can just press the menu button and the menu will pop up on the screen so this main knob this large one you can rotate it you can press on it and it even has a touchpad on it and when it's activated the light comes on so look this is the default screen here so let me see if i can activate the menu ah there it is so i just press this menu button and this is the main menu of the the r8 so you have a r8 and you have all the uh, uh, features and the options and you can just scroll by and select which whichever you want so it's pretty interactive it's nice you have different colors for different uh, settings so that when you're driving you can just look at it and find what you're looking for you also have these small uh, dials here plus on the steering wheel you have some buttons for the phone controls you have the drive mode button here on the left you have some other buttons on the left and on the right hand side you have this red engine start stop button so overall the material and finishing is very nice and look at that dent in the uh, door that's just to bring the air to you directly and on the lower side of the door you have the buttons for the uh, the side glass you have the uh, mirror adjusting buttons as well but let me show you the outside so i'm a short guy so for me it's not very difficult to get out of a car like this so the interior i like it but i wish it had a uh, computer screen so let me just show you the front it's a newly designed front it just came out around a year ago and I think it's quite an improvement. The grill is now even bigger. They've even added some, you know, design elements from the Huracan Evo. So now it looks even better. I didn't like it in the photos, and uh, the the previous model, just the one just before it, also I didn't like it with this, with the rectangular grill. This one is somewhat better so let's see what else we can find here uh, look at those wheels they are amazing look at those red bra uh, brake calipers and you have the v10 logo here i'll talk about the engine soon so coming here you can see that this is an audi r8 coupe it's a fi uh, 540 horsepower engine it's a 2021 model and it's for almost 600 thousand dirhams plus you get a lot of these features here and uh, yeah uh, there's another model in this uh it's uh for 610 horsepower so that's going to cross i'm sure it's going to be over 600 thousand dirhams now coming at the back is where the magic is the engine the v10 so i know that audi owns lamborghini and they share engines and they've also sh shared a lot of design elements look at the rear the whole rear reminds me of the Glado LP560. Now the LP560 is a beautiful car. So even though they've copied the Lamborghini design, it's fine. It looks good on this car. But one thing I do miss are the side blades that the original R8 had. And that is still one of my favorite cars. Now another car I have over here, 
by Audi is the Audi S8. You can see the logo here. That's the S8. This is also the most powerful car here. So this one is uh, has a 571 horsepower engine that's over 635,000 dirhams. Well, yes, uh, why not? I mean, it is the biggest, most expensive car that uh, in terms of four-door models. So which one do you like more, the R8 or the S8? They're very different cars. So for me, I would choose the R8. I mean, this model is really good looking. So what they have done with this front is they've made the grille even bigger. They've made the headlights even sharper looking. Those are the headlights. They've added a little bit of design from the Huracan in the sides. And here they have added these three air intakes. But the engine is not in the front. So I don't really know why they are here. Maybe they're not really functional. So you, in front, on the front hand side, you have the small boot. And here on the S8, you also have the new big grill. Uh, th th these big grills on these sedans, they have taken a time to get used to. But on the R8, they look much better. They're much sleeker there. It's not as big as on the S8. It takes up 90% of the face. The grill is pretty much all that you see uh, in the front. So let me know what you think about it in the comments.